okay i want to develop a new flask application we are already hosting a few flask applications so this will be a, an additional one okay the flask application is around fuzzy logic it should be an interactive tool teaching how to use fuzzy logic the specific application we have in mind is determining the level of noise in an EEG signal particularly thinking EMG chewing artifacts detection okay regards the front and the interface we do want an interactive UI we do not want to upload EEG at this stage for testing we would like to use synthetic EEG we would like to have some sort of scroller that moves through synthetic EEG data the data should have baseline EEG and periodically have an uh, EMG chewing artifact fantastic Dr. Benno if you need further assistance or specific details regarding the implementation feel free to ask good luck uh, yes. with your project I need um, you to make the flask application creating the flask application requires several steps and I'll guide you through the process since I can't code the entire application for you I'll outline the key components you'll need to implement given the complexity and specificity of your flask application utilizing github copilot could be highly beneficial yeah, we want to continue developing the code make sure we have a scroller for moving through the EEG signal the EEG signal should have EMG chewing artifacts presented periodically we also would like to display how the fuzzy logic is making decisions about the probability of the signal being clean EEG or contaminated with EMG artifacts. Yes, we like to integrate a proper fuzz logic system for the analysis of EEG data. We would like to look at features like amplitude and frequency in the first stage. We would like to, to set uh, a membership functions using uh, trapezoid uh, shapes between uh, 0 and uh, 1 with uh, 3 trapezoids for each low, medium and high so we should have low frequency, medium frequency, high frequency and the same for amplitude low amplitude, medium amplitude, high amplitude next we'll design the rule activation functions and aggregate the output using a centroid method focus on the data pre-processing implement pre-processing of EEG data to extract amplitude and frequency features this uh, looks pretty good already we haven't tested it yet though can you make sure the fuzz logic is actually integrated in the code okay, can we make sure that the EEG synthetic data looks uh, realistic and it has uh, all the necessary components same for the EMG at this stage we will be only testing synthetic data we will test with real data at another time uh, we need to make sure the front end is integrated yeah this goes from windows not scaling properly we're using chart no oh, it's using plotly so what's better but it's the same yeah before it took quite some time loading it so let's actually check uh, with chart.js yes. how many we have the EG chart and uh, we have a button why do we have a button but we don't need any buttons at this stage I don't think unless there's a really good reason for it just load synthetic data when the page loads make sure we have the scroller though we would like to load the segment of uh, say 100 seconds sampled at 250 hertz yeah let's place it in this panel it won't work with it we already have numpy to yes we do fft back yes we do frequency is not being accessed why is this meant to be that's wrong is it 
the average frequency. Okay, that's wrong. It's the other function that's missing. I'll fix this one. Analyze EG gold. Just get rid of that root. Don't get it. Let's do some rubbish. Artifact risk. Right, well, at least it doesn't have any obvious errors. Right, I'm still fixing HTML. What was the problem before? All right. Uh, please make sure the CSS file starts and using the following uh, colors throughout. Okay, let's save that. Did it update the CSS using uh, project colors? Seems like it did. Just make sure it's not using any other colors. It's randomly selected uh, which color to use where, but we can fix it later. And let's see if it runs at all. Let's try again. Right, well, it does something. Yeah, we don't need any of the other stuff anymore. What avocados? Something missing. Something is missing. It's format document it's only 80 lines of code something is missing and before we go into the html just make sure all this container uh, can be what how do you comment out in the html okay let's get rid of it yeah because there's a comment in the middle so then you can't comment the whole section in yeah, HTML is silly that way. There meant to be data in there. Let's pop this in. There's no EG data visible in the chat. Let's see if it can fix this for us. Let's download like this. No. Let's turn this into a separate section. Turn this into a separate section without using okay. What and where is the we still in the fetch EG data? Do we uh, keep on? Oh, let's accept that. Let's update the file path. It works, but uh, yeah, I'll just sum up first. Yeah, originally we had this uh, fuzzy logic application that meant to detect an input uh, waveform. Well, it wasn't working quite well, it was generating a lot of uh, false uh, detections of false positives and false negatives. So essentially misclassify uh, the input waveforms. So we started a new uh, Flask application. There are a couple of things that we need to fix. First, we need to make sure the EEG signal is actually visible. Currently, I only see red uh, screen in the chart. Second, we would like to display the fuzzy, the whole fuzzy logic uh, detection decision processing in charts like the membership functions and the rule aggregation. So, fuzzification and defuzzification in separate charts. That's generating, generates a fake EG is not defined, but it is there. I think it's the order of this thing. So, it actually returns the Output. Okay, so now we have that function. We still have a, you know, destroying a chart or something. How are we meant to be destroying this chart? Destroy the chart. Let's try this first quickly. Right. Okay, we have the. It's actually surprising that it looks like <laughs> the GTG. It has some frequency in it, but where's the scroller? The scroller is gone, ski. Okay, to the last. Uh, so it's able to. The good thing. It's the bot is able to fix stuff. And uh, this is the output I get. Looks like a legit EG. That's good. The scroller is. I think it's visible, but there is nothing to scroll through. And also, how do we make sure they are. EMG chewing artifacts within this uh, synthetic EEG uh, coming in periodically as you scroll through the data. Uh, it's not quite clear, but okay. Yeah, we might continue this next time. See you later. Bye.